Welcome to the Photosynthesis and Respiration Lab. We're going to be measuring how algae beads uh, photosynthesize as well as respirate and how we can measure each one individually and what that does to the pH of water. So we're going to see a couple things. We're going to see how respiration works, how photosynthesis works, but also how CO2 in water changes pH like we did in the chem review lab. So we're gonna start off <clears throat> to prepare our lab. We have to do a couple things. So this is what your lab stations should look like. Some pipettes here, um, not sure if you really need five, but however many there are at your lab station, then uh, that should be enough. You have a few cuvettes here, uh, a sheet of foil, a pH scale, and then a pen that you're gonna be marking. Step one, uh, also, oh, and a waste glass back here. Uh, and we'll get to that in a second. So step one <clears throat> is going to be, and if you look at your protocol uh, sheet, which will also be here at your lab station, which is the, these steps I'm going over right now. The first thing you're gonna do is label the two empty cuvettes L and D. One is gonna be for the algae beads that get placed in the light, and the other one's gonna be the algae beads that get placed in the dark. You wanna make sure that you write them on the ribbed side because you want the clear, so you notice how these are ribbed, uh, and, you, and the clear side you want to be left alone because that's the side you're gonna put up facing the light. So you write on the ribbed side. Uh, step two is going to be to take one of your pipettes like this and you're going to cut it at an angle to create a sort of manufactured scoop. And so what it does, what it looks like is this. So this is the final product. Yeah, you can cut it at any point uh, on there. I cut it pretty short. Uh, but you cut it at an angle so it gets a nice little scooper look to it. And so what you're going to do is these are your algae beads here. This is your indicator solution, and this is your distilled water. You'll need all of these for the lab. So the first step is to take the algae beads after you label your cuvettes. Your first step is to take the algae beads, and there should be 20, so you're going to place 10 in the light and 10 in the dark. The next step will, after you have, you can see I have placed uh, 10 uh, algae beads into each the dark and the light and then I have this where the algae beads used to be this is this excess and this is what you're gonna put in your waste container so this is what we'll dump into the waste container there and we can set that aside once you um, put these in here and you got to be careful and if for some reason you don't have 10 of each let me know i can get you some more algae beads but there should be 10 in each one just be careful when you're handling them you don't want to um, break the algae beads so once you do that now you're going to take the distilled water that you have here and you're going to add one milliliter of distilled water to each of the cuvettes. Uh, and you're gonna let them sit in the water for five minutes to allow them to sort of wash out. Now, how do you do one millimeter? Well, on your pipette, the very top line up here, you can see is one milliliter. So you just pull in um, till the liquid gets up to one milliliter and then uh, squirt it in. So you can see I have transferred one milliliter of distilled water into the light one and one milliliter of distilled water into the dark one. What we're gonna do is let the old CO2 solution that it was in wash out into this water. After five minutes, you're gonna then take a new pipette. Okay, this is the pipette that I use to take the distilled water out. Actually, you can use the same one, but you can see the old one that I used to cut back there is uh, discarded now. The pipette that you use to transfer the distilled water, you can use this one again. And what you're going to do after five minutes is you're going to take the water out of here. So you're going to suck out the water that's in there as much as you can, as much water as you can out of those. So it's just algae beads. And you're going to dump it in your waste container or your waste uh, beaker here. After that time, you then will take, you can discard this uh, pipette and you're going to grab a new pipette and you're going to then 
transfer one milliliter of the indicator solution into each one of these. Okay, and then you're gonna cap them. So once you have the indicator solution in each one of those, you're gonna you're gonna take an initial pH reading. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. So here you can see I removed the water, the distilled water that was in there, allowing the algae beads to wash out. And I have replaced uh, the water in there with one milliliter of the indicator solution. So now I have one that's light and one that's dark. And what you're gonna wanna do initially before you begin here is check your pH. So you're gonna wanna check the pH with the pH scale here, kind of hold it up against the, um, the, P, the pH scale. Um, and it should be in the lower sevens. Uh, this looks like, I'm trying to, very light orange. It's probably 7.1, maybe 7.3, uh, but it is distilled water. So it should uh, be in this low seven range, a light orange. And you're gonna check the pH for both. I mean, they should be the same, same color there. And so then with the light one, you're not going to do anything with it. You're gonna leave it as is. The dark one will get wrapped in aluminum foil. We'll show you what that looks like, okay? So here is my light one, which we're gonna leave out. Here's my dark one. I just rolled it and then just sort of pinched the edges. You don't wanna, you know, scrunch it up too much because you have you do have to every five minutes, you're gonna be checking the change in the pH. You wanna be able to be able to get this out easily and then put it right back in. So once you do that, you're gonna go and put both of your uh, algae beads in underneath the light here. Um, make sure you know where you put yours. And it's really important, uh, as you can see here, I got algae beads sticking on the side here. You want them all to be laying as flat as, you know, so they're all getting equal amount of light. There you go, they're all floating on the bottom and they're all laying flat and they're in the liquid. And then you wanna leave it in there. So we're gonna come back and check on these in five minutes and check the change in the pH. All right, it's ready to check our pH here. It's been five minutes, so let's check and see if there's any changes in the colors here. So let's look. This, this process here you want to do relatively quickly uh, because they'll start changing colors on you. So let's look and see what it looks like. Change or difference in the colors. Uh, the one on the left was one that was in the dark. The one on the right is one that was in the light. Uh, so automatically we can see a difference. The one on the left, the one that was in the dark, doesn't look like it's changed much. It's still probably about 7.1. But the one on the right is change. It's blue. It's a little bluish, purplish, almost um, a drastic change um, to that. If we put it up here, it's very dark. Yours will not change this quickly because um, I did mine much quicker on over time than yours will. Yours won't change as fast, but mine went from seven point one to looks like maybe like an 8.3 ish on there but uh you're just going to keep recording the ph change for five minutes every five minutes uh for 45 minutes and then you're going to graph the data and and answer the questions so that's the algae lab